everyone welcome back to my channel my name's camilla if you're new i talk all about social media content creation entrepreneurship and more so if that's up your alley welcome now the reason i started this whole youtube channel in the first place was because i had quit my nine to five job i was an account manager in tech and in november of 2023 i called it quits i made a youtube video i quit my nine to five job without a real plan to this day, that is my most popular video. We are still getting traction on that video and I continue to see your guys' comments come in from other people saying, you know, I wanna quit my job and all that. With that video being my most popular, I wanted to keep you guys updated of where I currently am now. I have been unemployed for pretty much only three months. It has felt like way longer. I swear it's felt like it's been a year. Time just, I guess goes by slower when you don't have a job. I don't I don't know why. If you have read the title of this video, you can see that I already have a new one. I'm gonna talk a little bit about why I have a new job, what has happened in these last three months that have made me want to get a new job and just pretty much how I feel about everything. Let's talk about being unemployed. If you have rent to pay or bills to pay and you pay for all of your own things, if you do not have a job, it is going to be very, very stressful. And this was what I was feeling in the last several months. I was basically living off of my savings and week after week, month after month, especially at the end of the month when I have to pay rent, that was the most difficult time because I would see very large chunks of money come out of my savings. This is money that I worked hard for in the last several years to save up and it was very difficult to see that go. I did not get a new job because I had to, had to. I could have kept going and gone through my savings. It would have lasted me quite a long time, but once again, I just did not, it was painful to see. I did not want to see that continue to happen. The anxiety of losing money and not having a stable cash flow really started to affect me, you guys. Before we go any further, let's quickly talk about these little productivity shots from Magic Mind. These little guys contain matcha, adaptogens, and nootropics, plus a bunch of different other vitamins and good for you stuff. What I love about these is that over time, their benefits start to build up in your body. I'm currently on like day 15 and I'm already like addicted to these little things. I will leave a little discount code in the description if you wanna try out these productivity shots for yourself starting to get darker outside so I just wanted to change the position so I can be in front of a window. I think one of the biggest challenges for me being unemployed was honestly just being mentally okay. I had so many breakdowns in the last several, mostly the last few weeks about being unemployed because I just felt like I had almost no direction in my life being 26 not having a job, like it was just difficult. On top of all of those mental challenges, I'm losing money and it was just very, very difficult. Another really big challenge that I faced without having a job was honestly just buying even little things for myself. So every time I would go out, of course, you know, I'm gonna be looking at price tags. I'm gonna be scrutinizing whether I really should buy something or not. I really didn't purchased a lot of things for myself in the last three months. A lot of the things that I have have honestly just been free like PR gifts from brand and it's pretty awesome that I have all, all of those opportunities to receive free items. Otherwise in these last three months I probably would have nothing new. I really changed my spending habits in the last three months and I'm grateful that not having a job actually did that for me because when I was working I don't know it just gets out of hand the things that you spend money on and it becomes a new level of normal but once i stripped you know my account manager tech company salary and became unemployed my spending levels literally just dropped because they had to i didn't have money to spend anymore unless i wanted to blow through everything that i have going into this new job now i do believe that i'm gonna maintain those low levels of spending and that is something that I'm also grateful for from this experience. 
All of these things combined really just pushed me to start looking for jobs. One of the biggest things that I would say I learned through this entire experience is having appreciation for work. I think a lot of people who try to take an entrepreneurial route and go back to a regular nine to five job have this sense of appreciation for whatever kind of work they're doing because they know at the end of the day they are pretty much covered financially there's that sense of security and appreciation for your employer in that way i didn't have this feeling of appreciation when I was at my last job because I had never felt what it truly means to work for yourself and how difficult it is to actually make money and consistent stable income. This is something that I have definite that I am definitely feeling now. I am just really excited to start a new job though I haven't started I already like like thank you <laughs> because they've pretty much saved me from this from all of this difficulty that I've had in the last few weeks and months of not having a job. That's not to say that I'm gonna be here forever or that I don't wanna work for myself in the future. I think the end goal is always to be able to work my, for myself. Like that is the ultimate level of freedom, I believe, but I don't think that I am there yet. It's gonna take me a little bit more time, I think, to get there. Okay, so what am I doing now? What is my new nine to five job? I was kind of picky when I was looking for a new job. I knew that it had to be a remote position. I've been working remotely for the last four years and I just have no intention to go back into an office or commute anywhere. I'm a total homebody. I have two little dogs. Like, I just wanna be with them like in the house. I wanna make my own coffee in my kitchen and etc. So it was a little difficult to find certain remote positions. I believe I was applying to jobs for at least a month. It could have been a month and a half. However, in the last two to three to four weeks, I have been like seriously applying. So at least 10 to 15 jobs I would apply to per day. I will be completely honest with you. It was very difficult to find a job. The job market is so hard right now. There are so many unemployed people, like it is just flooded. Though I was applying to a very high volume of jobs per day, no companies were getting back to me. And I have years of professional work experience. I have a bachelor's degree. Like I thought the entry to a new job into a lot of these positions that I believe I was qualified for, I just crickets. Like no, the companies weren't getting back to me. Nobody wanted to schedule an interview. Like it was very odd because one or two or three years ago when you know I was applying to jobs, I was in the market for a new job, it was very easy to get one. Fast forward to present day right now and experiencing how tough it is really gave me almost like a reality shock that this is very common for a lot of people. Like it's not always easy to land jobs or good jobs or who knows, like remote jobs. And that was really a wake up call for me. And when I had quit my account manager job, I didn't know how difficult the job market is right now. And I think it branches honestly from the past several years in COVID and a lot of just unemployed people to this day are all looking for jobs right now. So if you're thinking about quitting your job right now, just keep in mind how tough it is. Unless you're in a super maybe niche space, it might be a little more easy for you. Like the jobs I was applying to were honestly pretty general. Like anybody can get into a sales or account manager position if you know if you really wanted to. Like I'm not you know niched and say like I don't have a bachelor's or a master's degree in marketing. The jobs that I was applying to, they were not account manager jobs. They were not SaaS or tech company jobs. I applied to some, but low key, I didn't even want those jobs. I was just applying because I was desperate. If you watched my previous videos, like why I quit my nine to five and all, you would know that my last job caused me a lot of burnout. I felt like I was dealing with very high level situations, high stress 
situations, speaking to, you know, lots of executives, running meetings on a daily basis. It was just not really for me. So I did not want to get stuck in another job like that. This new job that I am doing is definitely more of a low level, honestly, like a level entry position it is more so on the admin and customer support side. It is something that I don't think is going to give me much stress. Like sure every job gives can give you some stress even the easy ones but this one is not going to be the same i just wanted something where you know once it's 5 p.m i can turn off my computer and i don't have to worry about work a job where i don't need to you know be constantly looking at my emails past 5 p.m or going to bed thinking oh shoot like i have like six or seven meetings tomorrow like half of them i need to run like i I just did not want that. The salary is half of what I was making at my last job. And though it hurts to kind of, you know, receive that much of a pay cut, I'm actually not upset about it because one, this job covers all of my rent bills, plus more I have saving money included in there. And something that I have taken from these last three months of being self-employed, I know how to make money for myself. So my content creation, and all of the skills of knowing how to make money online through social media and such are not going away and they're only going to add on to my nine to five job paycheck so i can elevate my income that is why i'm not upset to be making half of what i was making at my last job i expect this job to be a lot less stress and more so brainless and easy and i'm going to continue my content creation to really elevate what I can make on a monthly or yearly basis. I will keep you guys updated throughout the whole way. Let's see if this job really is less stress and if, you know, taking this kind of a pay cut makes sense. I'm going to continue to be making my monthly profit reports. So February is coming soon. I do have January out how much I made through say social media, Instagram, UGC, YouTube, and all of that. So stay updated for that. I should be a lot less stressed now that I have some consistent cash flow. If you're still watching, I appreciate you. And let me know if you guys have any questions about social media, Instagram, UGC, and anything in that ballpark. Bye guys.